Hello my friends, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and today we're having a lesson on I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Let me play it for you first. fast tune it's very jolly and but it is quite difficult to play so let me talk you through we're going to take it in small chunks and I'll talk you through about the bowings where to use much more bow and where to keep the bows really compact and you may have seen that most of the time I do use very very short bows and most of the time we're playing in the middle of the bow or thereabouts okay especially here at the beginning <laughs> Let's practice that a couple of times, shall we? Because not only have you got two very short bows, you've also got a string crossing to deal with right there from the beginning. Just the first two notes. And you've noticed that the emphasis is not so much on the first note as you play, but it is on the F. Uh, that is the first beat of the bar. And in this piece, every first beat of the bar gets a really strong accent. Let's try that again. We'll go on a little bit until we've hit um, the end of line one. One, two, three, four. Two, three. And now you want to find yourself in the middle of the bow where you can continue the next section, you see. So if you go all the way, that becomes really awkward. So this up bow, the long C, Try to finish it where you want to start the next phrase rather than going too far because you dig a hole for yourself there, you see. So up bow here, stop in the middle, ready to continue and now here, this is the long C in the second line, it doesn't matter if you go to the point because you start the following bar on a longer note as well. So that gets me back to the middle of the bow, you see. This E, I'm playing uh, in the third position, you see, and I'm playing it towards the middle of the bow again, because from there I can continue quite easily. Right, let's play it one more time. From the beginning, still at a slower pace. One, two, one, two. Stay roughly in the middle, save the bow in other words. And now I'm playing an extra up bow. And here I will have to retake. So this is a very long C here, isn't it? We're now in the fifth line. 
okay and we've got a very very long C I can save it a bit but I it's so long I will end up at the point of the bow no doubt can we start at the end of the first bar of the fifth line so we're back on to the tune <laughs> So I'm going to have to retake and now I'm shifting positions as well and two ups. You see, so this is quite complicated here. I'll talk you through again. If you've lost me, totally understandable because this is very complicated stuff. So let's find the fifth line. And the fifth line starts on a tied C, which I'm going to skip. We're going to start on the quaver C, the last note of the first bar of the fifth line. So we're in the middle of the bow here. One, two. Two. One, two. Retake the bow to the middle. That's a four. Two, four. And now I'm shifting position. So I'll do that slowly. This is the last note of the fifth line. Uh, we've got come all the way to the point. I'm retaking the bow. Change position. One more time. So we're now still at the last note of line five. In the middle of the bow, so you've retaken the bow, and here we are in the middle. Change position, two, up, up. And now we're going back to the four, uh, fourth finger. So, just before the double bar, I'm playing the slur. Because I want to start this E flat on a down bow. So there. And I have to play two notes slurred. Okay, I can't avoid playing a long note here. So to compensate for that, I'm going to play two notes up bow now. See? So let's play the double bar once more. And we're going to start on the half bar before the double bar. And those two notes I am slurring up bow. Two. One. page and that long tied note so be careful that you don't play this too long because you get yourself into trouble that's not nice isn't it so the C the first tied C you save and you stay more or less in the middle of the bow that's good that this is a long up bow because I'm starting the next bar up bow as well to the point because I've got a longer note as we've seen before. Second finger though in the third position. First position here. Okay and here I'll talk you through the fingering. This is the last line and I'm starting on the last note of the first bar of the last line. So C is a two, three. Now shift your third finger up for the D sharp, fourth finger for E, three is D sharp, and an open E string. Shall we do 
that one more time. Up and start here on C. You got it. Well done. Very good. Quite, quite complicated this song, so I'd like it if you could take a little bit of time to think about these bowings. It took me a little bit of time as well just to work it out and to, to find the optimum place for where the bow is and it should be mostly in the middle of the bow. So if you find yourself stuck at the point of the bow, something has gone wrong before. So check the slur before because most likely is that you've played it too long. There are a lot of long notes in this piece but you have to sometimes compensate for it a little bit because the bowing then doesn't work afterwards if you don't save it and saving the bow is just letting it travel less fast it's, it's keeping it smaller that is the trick here now for those of you who can easily manage shall we play it again from the beginning and let's play back up to speed again here we go one two one two about this piece or comments do please use the comment section below this video I do get to see these comments so I will get back to you uh, thank you very much for watching I really look forward to the next lesson which will be I'll be home for Christmas so for now I'm going to say goodbye and a very Merry Christmas to you <laughs>